I've been on top for a while. Nasa chip to the moon. Fast car make gon' run, run. Take it to the boom, boom, boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mmm. Bought a big paddock with the brand new red set. Mmm. Inside the new Maybach coupe in the butter jelly. Mmm. I'm sliding in the road, sliding in the lane, sliding in the bend. Been working on my confidence. And respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Trying to pour another cup with us. It's your boy K Smooth, RWKSD. Welcome to another edition. Uh, I'm out in my garage today just doing a, uh, I'm not going to go through the whole steps of how to change the oil on your, on your Can-Am Spider, but I will show you some of the product, uh, how far I've made it by uh, changing my oil, having to change my oil. You know, most people already know most of the steps to do. There's plenty of tutorial out there on YouTube about changing the oil, so I'm not going to go through all of the steps I'm just going to show you uh, some of the things that I do when I change my oil doing it at home in my garage as you can see I just use some some uh, as you can see I have all uh, some of these things you can buy at Walmart I just use uh, this is cement this is for your garden uh, lining up your garden. I take my jack, my hydraulic jack, and what I do when I first jack it up, I place the jack right here and I jack it up one side at a time, place those up under there, and I only have two. That's, high, that's plenty high enough. Jack that side up, go to this side, jack this side up, place those two under there. Then I go to the middle, under the bottom, and what I do, I place my jack right here. If you can see it, right here. And I jack it up, and that'll jack the whole back end of the tire. And as you can see, I have those pieces of uh, cement up under the back tire. And there's plenty enough room, as you can see, to get me to change to be able to change. And for those of you that may not know, that may not know, there is a plug. Let's see if I can find it. There's a plug right here where my finger is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That's the transmission side plug. You have to take that side out, that plug out right there. You have to take that plug out. But I take the, I take the oil side off first and let most of it drain off, and then I come to this side. But that transmission side plug is right there, and you have to stuff some some uh, paper towels, because the oil will be, once it comes out and gets short uh, of coming out, some of it will run all down uh, throughout your bike. And the paper towels will help to absorb it. So, let's go to the other side, you guys. I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to change. And as you can see, under here, this is the oil side. And there's a plug, I don't know if you can see it, right, right there, right there. I'm trying to put the camera right there. That is the main oil plug. I drain that side first. I drain this side first, let a lot of it drain out. Then I go to the transmission side and drain it out. And you have to use two different size. Uh, this is a T45. The T45 is for the, uh, on the, if you're sitting on the bike, it'll be on your left hand side. That's the T45 that you have to use to take the uh, socket out, socket and the, right side if you're sitting on your bike you will have to use a oh let's see what size it is well I, I can't see the size let me see I can't see the size I'm sorry you guys uh, but anyway it, it looks like this 
And you guys, you, you have a lot of washers and uh, rubber washers. When you change your oil, you have to replace this one on that. You have to replace these two, the black one and the green one, on that. And on the kit, the oil kit itself, all of your washers come with it. You have your uh, filter. You get five, one, two, three, four, five quarts, and one smaller quart of oil. And you get all of your all of your uh, rubber washers and they go in different places I also am changing my air filter I have the K&N air filter I just take it out and clean it it goes right there so you guys the dominator is getting a little tune up today and the best thing you can do because when any 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 type of maintenance that you do on your vehicle that requires you to take the pallet off you're gonna have to take those mirrors off the best thing you can do for yourself instead of doing all that hitting and padding and almost breaking your mirrors invest in some magic mirrors Invest in some magic mirrors. These are the magic mirrors. I took the, uh, that comes off, that comes off, that comes off. And these are metal. And you replace the, place the old ones with that. And you put these, these are magnetized. And they just suck it right on there. And you won't have any problems. <laughs> so you got, I know this may be, have been a rough, uh, tutorial on how to change the oil but it wasn't just how to change the oil I was coming to you guys just to show you mostly how uh, how to get up under there some of the spots the two spots where you have to take the uh, sockets out to let the oil drain and how I jack it up because you can't change the oil if you don't jack it up so you guys this is your boy K Smooth just wanted to holler at you let you know I do do a lot of my own work uh, it's cheaper the oil kit ran me like 149 bucks. If you take your bike to the shop, <laughs> you're gonna be paying three and four hundred dollars just to get your oil changed when you can do it yourself. So it's your boy K Smooth. Just how to let you guys, you guys have a blessed day and continue to love your wives, love your husband, love your children, love yourselves, and then love God. Until next time, you guys. Bye.